Uh, this morning, of course, I taught on the Trinity, the triune nature of God. And this evening, I'm just going to be wrapping up the characteristics of God with a sermon on um, starting off with the, the masculinity of God, that God is always in the male form referred to as, as uh, masculine and never feminine. And I'm going to teach that from the Bible real quickly and then go into how God is our protector. He's our defender. He's our shield. He's our high tower. He's our defense. He's our rock. And we can trust in God. And ultimately, he's our savior. Right. So I'm going to close the, this whole series I've been doing with with this subject. And just real quickly, because I didn't want to spend an entire sermon on the masculinity of God, but Starting even with, um, in Genesis chapter 1, we already looked at this passage this morning, so we don't have to turn there. But in Genesis 1.26, the Bible says that God said, let us make man in our image, right? After our likeness, I talked about this, is referring to the Trinity, the three persons. Um, and in verse 27 says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. So who did God create in his image? Man. Man is made in the image of God. You say, yeah, but he made male and female. It says, so God created man in his own image. Man was the first creation of God as far as human beings are concerned. And then Eve was made out of man. Now, obviously, an image is a likeness or a semblance. And anyone with two eyes can see that men and women have a different image about them. They look different physically. I mean, just your image. What is it on the outside? Your outward appearance is going to look different. If you're looking at a man, you're looking at women, they're, they look different. So they're not both in the image of God. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. And then it says male and female created he them. It says that he created male and female, but in his image, twice it's referring to the man. Yes, God created woman too, but not in his image. And this is why we're going to see all throughout scripture, you have God, the father, the father, the father. It doesn't say the mother. Okay, it doesn't say the daughter. It's God, the father. And we have God, the son, the word, the son of God, the son of God. Jesus was a man. He wasn't a woman. This doesn't say that women are bad or there's anything wrong or inferior with women. Their value is the same as men. I covered this this morning. But if we're talking about God, if we want to know who God is, and we want to know the attributes and characteristics of God, He is masculine. Okay, that's just the way that God is. There's no getting around that. God doesn't refer to Himself as being gender neutral, right? You say, well, God's a spirit, and God's this, and God's that. Look, we're going off of the Word of God. God is the one telling us about himself. I'm not just making this up. And you know what? If you think that, oh, well, that's just the view of this patriarchal society and, and these people, they put their own, this is their words. Look, then you don't believe the word of God anyways and you're not even saved. If you don't believe that the word of God is God's word, you're not saved. It's a bottom line. If you just think this is a book written by man, how can you? Jesus is the word. You can't believe in Jesus without believing the word. It's the bottom line. 